is day 12 and it is dead glassy. Dead glassy, the best weather day, or the best morning we've woken up on. We're having a bloody slow start. It's the end of the trip. Everyone's wearing down. Boys are cooking bacon and eggs. I'm gonna send it out, do a bit of top water and maybe a bit of bait casting on the on the uh, outside of the island there, get up close to the ledge and see if we um, throw some baits down and get some baldies or something like that. But let's enjoy this weather while we can. Last day, we're gonna slow pack up at the end of the day and then send it first thing in the morning, load up, send it back to Denham and uh, drive home. So last full day, let's see what happens. Uh. I think we might need double shots this morning. So we're probably going to head out to that same area uh, where we got the fin yesterday. I don't even know if we'll bother trawling. We'll probably just head out, see if we can find the birds in the bait. And uh, as soon as we see them, start casting a few stick baits and see if we can get into a few again. Caffeine time, baby. Let's go. Uh, just wanted a good bust up, so we set it straight over. Got a fish on the fish jumping. A little of foam on the surface. Oh! <laughs> Big tuna jumping out! Lighten up a bit. Big shark on it, eh? Hey? Oh! Yep, big shark on it. Oh! <laughs> oh, it pulled out. Yeah, boy. Busted up by a shark. Sold the sharks. Little CID. It's the next uh, next weapon. He's a sizzling stick. This is on your nizzle. What's going on, bruh? He's going to swim in the boat. He's coming at the boat, eh? Hey. Coming in oddy water. He knows what's good. I ain't saying it, mate. It's not that sunny, it's actually <laughs> overcast as shit, though. Like a bar on a sunny day, you reckon? Overcast as anything. A mad bite. Big sizzle, good fight. Shark hot on his ass right at the back of the boat. Skip ripped him through with the lip grip. We finally gaff one through the lip. Hey, buddy. He's off. He's going, eh? He's off, yeah. Hurry again. Yeah, 
turbulence down there, but he's all good. Not keeping any more fish. Be hooking by the boat. All right, it is time to send it back to camp and do the final fuel up to be able to get us back to Denham and then start this big pack up, this big send in the morning back home to Denham. All right, gonna pump the last of that drum, about 90 litres, and that's our trip home. Loaded up, they're all loaded up as well. Rolling out in the morning. Ah. Got half the weight, that's what we came, but a bit of rubbish. Just gotta put the fridges in. The fridges in the cab, one on the ground here, and we'll be ready to go. Lucky she's empty. Half the camp's packed away. We'll pack the rest in the morning. Make sure you don't wait up what he's got in his cab. So it'll be interesting to see what the fuel figures are on the way back be losing a lot less than when we came. Still loaded up, but nowhere near the weight. That's that weight up. We still got to put two fridges in as well. Yeah. We've just got to take the marquee down in the morning. And then we'll be bloody sending it. This bad boy on here. Luxury shower for the last night. Gas should fire up. There you go. All right. Running 40, 43 degrees, bruh. Living the dream, eh? The steep point <laughs> dream. Should have this halfway through the trip, shouldn't we? <laughs> <laughs> nah, you gotta treat yourself with the last night, mate. Treat yourself. Last night treat, they reckon. Big Richie getting on the shower. He's <laughs> <laughs> got his good jocks on, he reckons. Last pack up, load all this into there. Take out the marquee. We're off. Looks like good weather for the send, so good ride out. That's her, we'll see how it rides. It's no good, we'll shuffle it up. See how we go. Okay. 
cab is loaded. Get the generator, that's the last thing. Rexy pulling that off the beach. Utes loaded. Don't wait up loaded. We are super loaded. Little spot to drive the boat. Fridges. Bit of rubbish. Got a reshuffle, move a bit more gear over that side, make the float a bit better. That's the final loadout. Until we shuffle it again. Rexy digging out the last star picket. Alright, the beach is fully packed up. The last anchor pull. And now they're going to pick up Rexy. back at the ramp safe trip back uh, we end up winding up a bit there we're probably sitting on about 27 knots and burning about 56 to 58 liters an hour uh, the final figure was so 64 liters to get back compared to on the way over we used 95 liters so a lot less fuel on the way back but the boat still was pretty loaded up um, it, it was still it felt heavy and it wasn't really getting on the plane as it normally does so uh, total fuel used, we used 912 litres over the trip. Yeah, trip is done. It was an awesome trip at the end, uh, but it was hard work. Like uh, the fishing, it was hard, it was hard fishing. We found uh, the pelagics, we killed it on the pelagics. We found one spot which was just holding a lot of fish. So we're doing great there. But the demersal fishing, uh, it was pretty tough. Like when we were fishing in the 60s, anything shallow, we we're just getting sharked a lot and, uh, and just plagued by a pink snapper pink snapper one after the other but uh, when we moved into that deeper water sort of like 80s 90s 100s we started getting those good fish but um, yeah it was definitely tough fishing it was tough weather those southerlies were absolutely killing us uh, but at the end of the trip there the weather came good and uh, we got a few good days out and we had a bloody good run home as well the weather was mint on the way home so I'm gonna wrap it up there trip is done and dusted we're gonna load all this stuff into the car and send it back to Perth. I don't even know if we're gonna get back tonight. We might um, overnight on the road somewhere. Not quite sure yet, but uh, that's gonna be a wrap. We'll see you on the next one.